Hi guys, Footmap30 here with another classic town set review. And today we have set 6661 Mobile TV Studio. Um, and this was released in 1989. Uh, so, as always, we'll start with the figure. Oh, he's got a bit dusty. He's been up on the shelf for a while and his legs have... Uh, gone off colour. I'll change his legs, I think. Anyway, he's just got a pretty basic pattern on his torso. If I can get it to show up, he's got that sort of diagonal zipper, plus a pocket zipper there. They did um, a police-style uniform like this as well, with a similar zip pattern, but with a police badge and in black. And again, he's got the, um, oh, he's got an open stud on his head. But just a basic smiley face, baseball cap, obviously there's no back printing. So I'm going to keep him to one side actually because I'm going to change his legs. Uh, you do get an accessory with this, you do get the um, camera. And I assume that's to like a handle so you can control the camera. It's got number two on it. And uh, this will fit in the back of the van, but you'd have to take it apart into two parts like that. So you've got the camera and the stand. And then it will go in the back of the van. I'll show you that in a minute. Now, as for the van, it's got two little side windows, opening doors. They did make a few vans with this sort of um, chassis design here. The male van is made in a similar um, way to this. Uh, roof opens. I think I will keep this one down because I need a good clean. <laughs> oh, just taking the whole roof off. I won't do that. Just put that back. Yeah, and yeah, the roof does open. If you're not careful, you can pull it off. Nice yellow steering wheel in there. Transmitter dish. And point it in any direction you want like you would on a real TV van. Wherever, it, wherever you're parked, you'd obviously point it towards the satellite. And in the back, there's actually quite a bit of room. That's got like a, I'm not sure what that's meant to be, perhaps a monitor for the camera. Or perhaps something, you know, they can play back their footage on. Computer, whatever you want it to be. And yeah, I should be able to, with a bit of wiggling, Yep, that's the stand in, and there's the camera, and then the back just closes. I've actually got all the parts to build this again, so I'm probably going to build a second one, just because I can. So this one I will keep it's down here. Um, the chassis is uh, pretty simple. It looks like a one-piece chassis base, but it isn't. It's got these two separate pieces. There's the centre where my finger is. You'll probably just about see it. Um, so they're actually... Uh, I've got them at hand. It's actually um, two of these. Maybe I haven't got all pieces, because... Uh, Having looking in my or having looked in my tray, oh, oh, I might. Oh yes, I have. I didn't know if I had any of these grey bits. So I do want to make another one up. Put the wheels back on. They're easy enough. I could probably um. Well, actually, I wouldn't need the instructions because I can just use that. Um. So yeah. There isn't really a lot you can say about these old sets, but I'm not sure why, but I really do prefer these old sets to a lot of the newer ones. Maybe it's because I was not lucky enough to um, um, get much of these sets when I was little. I didn't really... I had Lego, but not a lot. And I've just noticed that isn't a Lego piece. No idea why that is on there. That shouldn't be, so I'll change that before that goes back on the shelf. 
and uh, in fact I might actually put that in the sink and give that a complete wash so that sums up this video for the uh, mobile TV studio so um Oh yeah, and in case you're wondering, this came with 71 pieces. So, um, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye-bye.